Hi guys, uh, Vitek here. Uh, welcome to my mess. Um, working on a couple uh, devices, uh, magnetic um, healing devices lately. Um, I uh, that's one of them. It's uh, based on uh, uh, Robert Beck uh, magnetic pulsar. Um, I also made um, um, his um, blood electrifier and. Uh, uh, collo uh, colloidal silver um, um, device but I'm gonna make um, other video about that um, anyway that's the simple pulser I I use the the vivid that I got of eBay um, I, I just modify I run the wire directly to my coil this is AVG 16 um, probably a little bit too much wire, but I didn't want to cut um, to see if you know works better or, or, or not yet. And uh, instead of running of the batteries, I um, put another wire in it uh, in a battery compartment, and uh, I am running this off. Uh, if I can pull this out uh, of the small uh, wall adapter. It's slightly less than um, a flash normally takes. It takes uh, four double uh, A's battery, which equals six volts. This one, it's uh, it gives uh, about five uh, thirty-six, if I remember well. But um, anyhow, it it works fine. Just let me plug that back. Sorry for the darkness. Um, anyway, um, I found this. I. I had uh, two quite heavy washers uh, stuck together and uh, if I manually pulse this you can see they are moving. I mean this is this is fair amount of uh, steel. Um, but the one thing which did bother me, uh, she's ready again, um, it's waiting time. Um, it takes about 10 seconds probably or, or, or close to that yeah it's fully charged again um, so I just thought you know if I could come up with something uh, where I can pulse uh, more frequent perhaps more powerful uh, flash would do it but I was thinking how to eliminate the, the flash and make um, uh, make an independent uh, circuit anyway I was <coughs> What I was working uh, lately on, it's uh, it's a pulser. Um, it's quite uh, it's quite simple. Um, there is a bank of uh, uh, photo flash capacitors. They are 130 uh, microfarads, uh, rated at uh, 300 volts. Um, there is another cap in series with the power resistors. And uh, I found I, these diodes are uh, just a regular rectifiers, 1N5408. But I found with the stronger pulses, I was fiddling with it today. Um, I was frying them, so I put uh, two in uh, in parallel. And um, I used the simplify version before with uh, with an extra with an extra capacitor. One meg um, a resistor and uh, a neon bulb, which acts as a trigger for a thyristor. Uh, but and it worked fine; it worked good. But um, I later thought maybe I could uh, make this a little bit more uh, sophisticated. Um, um, I just I just uh, found in my in my stuff uh, old uh, cup pulser which I used uh, uh, a few years ago. Um, with my um, uh, Bedini um, SSG, and uh, and I found working working well. I'm powering this of uh, nine nine volts. It's uh, running of nine volts right now, and I'm pulsing at one roughly one pulse per uh, second, and um, there is a. a uh, NE555 uh, timer and uh, the white uh, chip, it's uh, optocoupler, I believe it's 
H11D2 uh, and uh, purple and yellow wires are going to the transistor uh, nothing special I just found the transistor in my tray uh, salvage from the old TV uh, it's rated at I believe 200, 200 volts and um, uh, that transistor is uh, driving um, uh, SCR um, I, the one I use it's rated at at least 30 amps but uh, it should uh, it should be able to handle uh, much higher pulses that clicking you hear right now it comes from that coil the coil it's uh, it's uh, 65 feet of AVG uh, 16 and uh, the way it's hooked up it's repelling uh, uh, north uh, um, so the north north pole of the coil it's uh, facing um, facing up um, anyway um, uh, well I have the two power resistors they are um, current limiting resistors just found something I, I have in hand um, they are only rated 25 uh, watts so they getting quite warm I would say uh, well they might be about about 70 70 degree uh, Celsius right now um, I, I, I order uh, aluminum clad uh, 50 watts uh, 50 watt resistors and they should arrive probably within uh, well, hopefully a couple weeks. Um, I'm gonna try with them because they will dissipate heat better than this uh, ceramic old uh, beauties. Um, anyway, it's it's running quite well. It's been running for the past uh, uh, hour, and I did some modifications earlier. And um, the SCR, it's it's running cold, like I have a heat sink on it, but. Uh, I don't even know if it's warmer than my finger. Probably not. Um, I can I can show you the the poles right now. I have these uh, resistors, these power resistors. They are 200 ohm each, and I have them uh, wire in uh, series. So I have about 400 uh, ohms. Uh, and that's a 110 uh, going into the resistors through the resistors there is a 130 microfarad photo flash and two diodes could be probably bridge rectifier but I uh, I just kept it simple and, um, and this is charging the bank of um, five times 130 microfarad uh, photo flash caps and um, and that uh, timer circuit and the driving transistor is triggering um, SCR anyway um, What you hear right now, it's it's a sound coming uh, uh, coming from the coil. I don't want to use the washer because I did before, and the washer uh, landed uh, very close to the to the capacitor bank, and I didn't like that. Uh, but anyway, you can see right now on the tweezers, it's if I wouldn't hold, it will it will knock them out. Now what? Uh, what else? Like I'm working and um, uh, trying to to um, figure it out better uh, uh, better uh, limiter for the current. What I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna substitute one of the resistors with uh, with the small bulb. It came out of uh, uh, microwave. Um, So right now I get a little glow and the pulse get uh, the pulse get stronger right now. Oh yeah, she's kicking much better. And what else I can do? I can um, I can substitute uh, both resistors with. Uh, Now we cooking with gas. Well, she's not fully 
lead but the poles right now you can hear kicking I mean the I don't know if you can see it but actually uh, I've seen this wire uh, slightly moving with the poles so there is quite a bit uh, quite a bit of um, uh, poles going um, going to that coil she's getting slightly warm uh, perhaps uh, a thicker wire 14 would be uh, would be better choice I try pulsing uh, faster I try pulsing uh, seven uh, poles per second four pulses per second but um, I was digging in some uh, in some patents um, regarding uh, magnetic healing um, technologies was a lot of done was a lot of research done on that and uh, was buried um, uh, for an uh, obvious reason uh, anyway I just want to share I'm still working on it and uh, I post a circuit on um, uh, energy science forum um, the circuit of, of this particular uh, device and uh, well that's another that's another one I uh, I'm working that's um, uh, uh, Glenn Gordon uh, device it's it's very small poles it's, uh, the field around the coil it's about uh, two gauss only I got it working I'm not quite happy with uh, um, with the push pull and magnifying um, amplifying uh, circuit I am not sure if everything works works fine uh, recently I I got something uh, with, which allows me to uh, uh, check on um, EMF uh, it's, it's a ghost meter well and uh, like that thing it's the, the max maximum scale it's a five gauss and that thing is just going almost full scale I'm I'm right now uh, about two feet two feet from the from the coil um, but I could not I could not get reading on um, a Glenn Gordon device. Uh, it should be two gauss, so I should be able to read um, when I'm close to the uh, little coil here. Um, but I didn't. Anyway, I'm gonna work on this uh, uh, further, and uh, that's um, uh, John Bedini Rife um, four-way uh, um, circuit, which I got it running, and again need some tuning, and uh, hopefully I'll get this. Uh, I'll get the video done on this and show the waves and everything, the way it works, very interesting. Anyway, thank you for watching.